today is connecting leg locks with wrestling, so from standing position. We're actually just looking at one sequence because I wanted to show so much stuff and then I'm like, just cut it down, cut it down, cut it down. So I want you to have this one sequence and stand it really, really well at the end. So you can do this one sequence basically almost no matter your level. Like it's labeled as an advanced class because some things like inversion stuff, maybe it's hard if you're a beginner. But we go through it really step by step. So we have one sequence and we put it like in little modules, so to speak. And I hope everyone can get this. And we look at some principles that hopefully you can then use for other positions and other entries as well. That's, that's the goal at least. And then if we have time at the end, I show some more entries that use basically this, the same positions, the same intermediate positions that we take for like completely different entries, but the same destination. Okay, so the main thing we do today is like the backside 50-50 position and how to get there from standing. Okay, if you haven't seen it before, it's the one that Lachlan Giles made, made famous in his, um, in his match against, um, or like several matches at HCC. And we're basically in this self position. We're behind our opponent and we have the heel here. The, the main weapon is the, the inside heel hook. And his hands are far away, so it's hard for him to defend. And we will um, we'll soon look how to play this position and then how to get there and then how to get there from standing, right? So this is the basic position. And the first thing we actually do today is like, also Ryan Hall made the super famous. He's basically the pioneer of this position and most of the stuff we're doing is, is based on stuff from Ryan Hall, just to make this clear. Okay. Um, so how to get there easily, we do the, the, the actual you know, setup later, but you can just go in basic 50-50, like if you've never been here, you just cross your feet like this, right? Basic 50 and the partner spins towards you, right? You wouldn't usually do this, it's not a realistic setup, but you get here easily, right? And then we work on the, on the setup later. And when you're here, there are like four main things you wanna look out for, right? So I like to, every position, I like to look at what can my opponent do and how can I basically destroy everything he wants to do. And there are like four big things here that you have to deal with. One is your opponent running away. And for this, you need this heel grip here, right? You see my hand is bent like this very sharply and it's right behind his heel, in the, basically in the crook here of his Achilles tendon, like where it's nice and soft. You cut in there with the bone of your wrist, like this. Even if you have no legs, which is not ideal, of course, but even here, it's really hard for him to kick out, right? And if you have your legs in, it's even harder, right? So that's one thing we have to avoid. The second is the opposite. It's like him stacking me. So if he comes really tight and he stacks me here, that's a problem, right? And it's really hard to get, get back. So one thing you want to do is always kick with this leg, give a strong kick, so he can't push into you. So if he tries to run into me, it's really hard, right? If you have a tough hand, you can also use this flare. Right? So like I flare my knees. If he's like really strong and big and I have trouble with this, I can't kick anymore once I'm already um, smushed up, I flare this knee like this. Right? This is not ideal because we can lose the position here, but it's better than getting smushed, right? So ideally, we stay like this. If I'm here, I'm really strong. Right? Like here, if he tries to push in, it's like super easy to keep him away. But if he's already tighter, like here, now it's hard to actually get him away. Right? So you want to be from the start, which comes in later. From the start, you want to be here and push him away. Right? So those two things, you, you hold this heel here, here, and you kick him away with your thigh. Okay? Kick him away with your thigh. And the other two problems we have is, one is him straightening the leg that I have control. See, see right now, my foot is threaded over his leg into his far hip. Right? Just work a little bit. My foot is into his far hip here. And it's like, a, like an iron bar, basically, and his knee can't bend. If he tries to bend it, my foot gets pushed into his stomach, he can't bend it more. The more I turn over here, the harder it gets, right? So I really want this. If I don't have this, if I lock up too early, we go into this shortly, like when and how to lock up. If I try to lock up here too early, he can just straighten his leg and I lose it like this. But then I could go to a knee bar, but that's like, it's another transition, we could lose him. But the heel hook is really, really hard. It's almost impossible when his leg is fully straight, right? It's super hard. So we want this foot to be extending, right? So now if he tries to straighten his leg, you see his knee is always nice and bent. Doesn't cost me any energy. And then the last, the fourth problem we want to deal with here is him backstepping, right? If I wait too long here, he backsteps. We win this like regular 50. We can go into different variations here, but a lot of times he will come forward, we'll fight, you know, and then we're, we're like in danger of losing the position. So we really want to avoid this. So the main thing we want to do against this is go belly down, right? You see if I'm go, going belly down, it's the counter rotation. So he wants to rotate this way, I want him to rotate this. So once I'm here and he tries to backstep, it's super hard. It's super hard and he basically hurts his own uh, heel if he, if he does it too hard. Also, the belly down is the main thing I want you to focus on because once I'm belly down, like all, all the things get harder. If he tries to pull away and I'm belly down, it's super hard. If he tries to stack me here, it's super hard, right? 
If he tries to backstep, as we just looked at, right, it's super hard. If he tries to straighten the leg, super hard. Okay. So my main goal here is when we when we get here, you you do later the entry. You want to go as belly down, belly down as quickly as you can. Right. So I'm here. This is bad. Belly up. Right? Sideways better. So more towards belly down. That's that's great. If you roll through, that's basically not a problem because you land in a very nice position. So once again, you can just start by taking regular 50 like this, right? And you just have the guy step over, right? Not a realistic entry, but just so you get into the position, okay? And um, you always have to have this knee above your knees, right? If it's under here, I can't finish because my hip can't come in to his knee. If I'm here, that's fine. This foot can do different things. For now, just leave it outside on the mat here. It can help you go into belly up, right? If you don't see it, basically, you rotate a little bit. If you look at this foot, it helps me on the mat to go belly up. This one stays on the hip. Okay. So both feet have a job. This one has a job, this one has a job. This hand could hold this far leg, right? There are cool things you can do with the far hand. Sometimes you can pull the knee. This hand is your multi-purpose hand here, right? Sometimes you can push, push his butt if you need more force here. But just go ahead, get into position, play with those four scenarios. So once he tries to run away, right, I hold him by the heel. Right? That's the easiest. Okay, that's the easiest. The other one is to try to stack me. So I have to always be pushing with this leg. Right? Even before he tries to stack me, I always have like some space tension with this leg. Okay? Um, the other one is he tries to straighten the leg. If I straighten the leg, I have good positioning with this foot, he can't straighten it. I don't have to do anything extra. But right? I'm already doing it. Right? And the last one is to try to back step. I have to go belly down before he does. That's the thing. So later if we go here, our goal is to get in here, get the foot on the hip, and go belly down as quickly as we can. That's, that's. Any questions? Oh, we'll see it again. So again, okay. So start in the 50-50, right? So legs across each other, and he steps towards me, right? Don't step this direction, which would be more make more sense, right? Usually he would do this, but just for the entry now, he steps towards me, right? He steps over, and then we're here, right? I have his heel here on my ribs, and my wrist bone here, like right underneath my wrist, is on the tip, right? You want to feel like bone on bone, like it has to be really tight. If I'm too deep here, it gets slippery and you might, I might slip off, right? Like in every hero place. You want to be really tight here and bend your wrist downward. Right? So if he tries to run away, can't do it. Right? My top leg pushes, so if he tries to stack me, can't stack me. Okay? Really important. Um, the two bigger problems is like him straightening the leg. He straightens the leg, uh, this one in place, he can't do it. Last one is to avoid the back step, and that's the, the biggest problem. You want to go belly down. Of course, we can't do it while he's already backstepping, it's too late. And later, we have to do it right after the entry. That's what I'm showing it to you now. But so there we do the entry, we instantly go belly down. Before we do everything, anything else, we go belly down. Okay? Just play with those and see if the partner, of course, goes slow, right? If you haven't, especially don't uh, have experience with hitos a lot, go slow. And like, the guy goes over. Okay? Um, just go slow here, especially as the top partner too. And as the bottom partner here, you know, don't rank harder and you just try to hold him for, the, for this exercise now, right? Don't try to actually finish it if you don't have experience, okay? Just be here, control him, and try to avoid all those four problems. Those are your four main problems you will encounter. Right, that's right. One, two. Okay, real quick, so we can't unfortunately you spend the entire class yeah. about mental proficiency. I'll show you real quick some more things, but uh, if you have more interest, just catch me. I'm usually at the drill mats open there in drill. Um, you can always catch me and ask me more questions, right? But the main thing is when you're here, uh, belly down. If you go, yeah. When you're here, um, I want to go belly down as quick as possible. And this free foot here helps me. Right? You can lock up the legs here. It's, it's not wrong, and it's really strong against stacks. If you try to stack me, it's really strong. But if he straightens the leg, if this happens. I just get pulled out from everything. And now, here yeah, I can't finish a heel up, and I can't, I have no feet on the ground to counter the rotation. So I'm just like here, right? And in the best case, I could make a knee bar out of it, but it's, it's not as easy as it looks. So we really want to avoid him straightening his leg. And this hook on the far hip here does the job. If he tries to straighten the leg, you see how he can't straighten it. This is bending, right? This keeps it bent. And we don't need this for long, we just need it very shortly to go belly down. Once we belly down, we can do a lot more. We could lock our legs here if we want, right? Because now he can't straighten anymore. There's too much weight. You know, my hip is right over his knee. There's too much weight on his knee to bend it. Now it's super hard, right? 
personally, I almost never lock it. I usually am here and I just finish with open legs. I press his knee on the floor and finish from here, bring your shoulder back, your hips in, and you just finish from here. Like this. It's really strong finish, right? Like I said, if he rolls through, it's not a problem. Just want to avoid the back step. You can finish from the back step too sometimes, but it's getting more hectic because his hands are instantly there and it's like, it's, it's more of a um, scramble then, right? It's, 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 uh, you can lose it. You want to really be aware of these four problems. Right? And this foot is doing a lot of, uh, of the job. Like this foot usually, I prefer here on the mat. Sometimes with other entries, like the one we, we do after, you can get the foot behind his leg, which is also efficient. If my foot is behind his leg, now if he tries to back step, I can push him. Right? And there's even fancy variations where you go through all the way, and you hold this leg, and now it's really, even if you back step from here, right, it's not a problem anymore. You can have this reef here, and it's like, it's much stronger. Okay? So there's a lot of cool stuff to cover. But we have to get more close to the rest of the time. So I'm sorry. But you can always ask me more about the back step. Too. The next thing we do is, we build towards the entry we want to do from wrestling. And the first thing we do is this um, exercise from here. We are under our opponent, basically in a north-south position, right? So if you're familiar with the basic thing like X drill, where you go here, right? You know this one? It's basically the same thing, just I'm completely looking in the other direction, on the side of the And what we want to do is just this. That's everything we want to do. Just get this leg in position, and then you can go to a back position. But the trick is, how do we do it? Because a lot of people have thought this before. Myself had trouble with this. Other people have trouble with this. A lot of times you feel like this. You're like, fuck, my leg is too short. You know, I'm not flexible enough. You know, I need flexibility, stuff like this. But the, the main reason is I'm not deep enough. You, know, you want to be really deep. So you see how his ankle is really behind my shoulder. I really want, like, you know, like I'm pulling him up like this. When he's really deep. Because now this distance is super long. And my hip is free to rise. Hip can rise and stick the foot. The more he goes lower on my, on, towards my hip, I'm losing range of motion. My hip can't come up. If he's on my hip, it's basically impossible to get in, unless I'm like Alex Neufeld. Step flex forward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you have to be really deep, like like over and um, overdo it. Right? So feel like oh, I'm already at my shoulder. Just go deeper as far as you can that your shoulder allows you, and then it's super easy to get in. Okay? The second thing is the angle. If my angle is like this, now it's also crazy hard to get. Even with the high shoulder, I can't get it. The more I'm towards this angle, looking to the outside, the easier it gets. Okay. So the reason for this is I want to get behind his knee. Right? If you think about it, this leg wants to get behind his knee. Right? Here I'm already close to being behind his knee. But if I'm looking this way, now it's like this leg has to come all the way here, right? almost to 360. Right? It has to come from here. All the way here, it's so far away. When I'm here, it's just like 90 degrees, just up. Okay. So generally, for most entries we do later, you land somewhere here where you're like almost parallel with his uh, with his toes, and you're um, deep in under. Like deep under. And then you can rise up easily. You see how my hip can come up to his knee, hip to the knee, and this foot is completely free to spread to his far hip. And from here, to get him on his hands, we bring our, our chest to the side. And kick with our foot, right? Kick this one over, get to the side. And instantly catch the heel so he can't run away. You feel sloppy here, instantly pull down right arm. I almost had it, right? But if I, from here, I go in, I instantly catch the heel, if he tries to run away, he can't run away. He tries to stack me, and he can't stack me. And then also, later on, you want to instantly go belly down. Of course, be careful with this because you know, if you're not experiencing the heels, you don't want to hurt anyone. You're getting close to the finish, but just go a little bit belly down. You take as much time as you can. One more time. And this is really, it looks like it's not much, but once you understand it, this is the centerpiece of all the entries we do later, right? How many we can do, we'll see, but you always, from almost every um, backside 50 entry, you want to go here in this position. Right? Here, hips up, put in. Hip up, put in. And then you can also, if you have really trouble getting him down, you can use this free foot here into his knee, behind his knee, and push him down like this, which has the added benefit that you have this. The back step, even harder now. It's like push it like it's really helpful. And then if you go belly down, and then from here, you can't do it. We don't go into the full break mechanic now, but, but that's uh, be very close there. So again, you're under him. You can you can pick your legs, of course, whichever side you prefer. But go really deep, like you know, not here, but like imagine someone's pulling you as deep as you can, and play with the angle. This angle is usually the best, right? 
this is still acceptable. If you're pointing, if you're more than believing the parallel plane, go this direction, you're losing it. Now it's, it's getting harder and harder. Okay, so this, like this. Okay, so just play with this angle. So like I said, high and parallel is usually enough to get in. Foot goes here, and I'm extending my foot by my upper body goes to the side. So I have, I have an opposing force, right? So my upper body goes this direction, and my his hip gets pushed by my leg in this direction. Okay, so here, like this. And usually I want to go into the belly down. Right? So if you can do it without this leg, it's nice because you can go quickly belly down. Okay. Here, come up, instantly go belly down. So he has never a chance to get it. Any questions? Um, so, like maybe if I wanted to try this on like lower level training partners and I didn't want to get them like the heel hook right away because I don't want them to like injure yeah. themselves doing it. Do you think like maybe grabbing like the way that uh, Craig Jones grabs the foot and like the thing where he like grabs on and rides with people, is that also possible in this? Um, I'm not position? sure which way you mean, but what you can do if you're, if you're scared of injuring someone, um, if you heal, just make sure that your elbow here is really loose. Right? Because usually when we go, we want to clamp his elbow down so we force him into, from this position to like this boot position. So we get a nice rotation on his lower limb here, right? on the lower part of the leg. If his leg is like this, in like a ballerina top position, I have very small lever here to turn his, to turn his foot, right? Mm -hmm. If I just really keep this elbow open, not much can happen. Right here. You can even grab this hand here, it's maybe even safer, but it's not ideal. But you know, from here under his heel, he still can't run away as easily, and I can still go here, right, you see, pause apart a little bit, you know, you could do this, or I could just have a really bad elbow, because usually this elbow wants to clamp down really hard, mm -hmm. if I keep it really loose here, I could do it, there's basically a little bit injury for the bird. All right, let's try it, one, two. Yeah, okay. So there are a lot of great questions about the back of the city. Like I said, I'd love to show you everything. Like, we have to go to the wrestling part too. Um, but just like most of it, you got it right. Just focus on having this leg really extending. Right? So you never want to be um, compressed by him. If he's coming into me, and I'm like, once I'm here, it's, it's hard to recover, right? Here, this is hard to recover. So from the beginning, you want to be um, extending this leg. And you right away grab the heel. Like, if you see, um, if you come back. That's also the reason why we don't choose this grip. I don't like this grip because you have to switch back to the heel. When you're here, um, you see, when he drops, I get the heel grip right away. Right? So I do this, I drop, and I have the heel grip already. If he runs away, I'm instantly having this. Right? And I go right away to belly down. Okay? This is just like to show the position and so you know what to do here. But usually you don't wait here. You go instantly to belly down. <coughs> Once you belly down, everything is safer. Right? So he can't run away, he can't stack you, he can't backstep. The only thing you can do is go this direction, which is fine for us, right? If you go this direction, it would be great finish. finish and always, if you have trouble with the entry, always um, go deeper and notice your angle, right? Always make sure that you're not over here, but parallel with his feet, or even more over here, and really high in, in your um, armpit. The same is true for the regular. If you most for beginners, but for everyone interesting, if you're like in the regular ashi entry, you want to be really high in your armpit too, because now my hip can rise and I go right behind Ruin's knee here, right? So it's really nice and tight. If you have trouble getting there, you know, like this, this is like a really bad position, right? Because there's too much space. It's because my hip has no, there's no range of motion for my hip to get to his knee. If I'm nice and deep here, I can easily get you, right? Nice and deep on his and I can change, I'm always nice and deep. It's really a uh, universal principle. Every time you feel like you can't move your hip, so basically that's usually the reason. You're not um, deep enough with your whole body. Um, so those are the main points that came. The next thing we do is we're getting closer to the wrestling part. Okay. So this one is um, just like a... Let me skip this. Skip this. Okay. So, okay. Let's, let's skip this actually. So the thing we actually want to get to is like... Combine three things, the back is 50, and this entry, which is usually the inside spin, it's called, right, how the inside spin, we're from here, basically grabbing the knee, and we pull ourselves into this position, and then we can do this, right? 
So once you understand how this position works, you can do this. Maybe we should do this. Sorry. Let's do this. We do this. Okay. You can do it. You just sit in front of the leg. You take your inside arm, reach behind his knee, and throw your legs to the outside, and you fall into the same position that we just were in. Right? If you do it fast, it looks kind of fancy, but now you know the position you have to go to. Right? So you're here, you just fall into this position, and you go right away. This, and you can go right away to the finish. Right? And then you can combine this with all sorts of secret guards. Right? So let's say you play shin on shin. Right? You play shin on shin, you try to get it forward to get his leg, but the thing like that just, but you always move his leg. It's hard to get there, you just go and turn. Right? For example, and you can do it from standing setups, which we do later, all this stuff. But the easy thing is just start in front of your point here, like in front of you, take this knee pole grab on the inside, behind his knee, and when I fall, you see I keep the same, my hand stays on his knee, and my armpit falls just where we want it. Right? Before we had this grip, now I have the knee, it's totally fine, and I do the same exact motion. I come up, I kick him over, I grab the heel right away, and good to go. So it's like from start to finish, later, if you do it in competition, like one second, but now we do it slowly. Up here, grab this one, the legs go to the outside, head goes to the inside, I'm nice and deep. Get this, everything. Don't make the mistake of forgetting everything with this. Just don't be here. And like pull yourself too deep. Oh, shit. Oh, really? okay. So don't pull yourself too deep because then you're like here, yeah. and you think again, why doesn't it work? You want to be, please do it slowly. Knee pull, fall to the Face. Come in, we'll get him down. Okay. For the advanced guys, you can look for I use it a lot from Shin on Shin, but whichever guard, seated guard you have in play, you can usually make it work. Right? And it works the best if, my, if I'm sideways to him. Right? The more I'm here, it doesn't work so well because now if I do it, you see this angle is bad again. I'm having this type of angle that we looked at previously. But if I'm like in Shin on Shin, it comes a lot. Because usually you want, you want this leg, you want to grab this leg, and you run away with this leg. So this is the perfect angle. Because you see, if I fall now, I'm in the perfect angle here. Right? This is exactly the angle we want. So we get it. So it comes up and shin and shin a lot. You can certainly find it in other positions. Too. Okay. So once again, just here. Knee pull. So we head to the middle. Come in here. Boom. Kick in. Over. Down. Any questions? Yes. <laughs> but so far it looks good, like oh, everything I've seen. Um, um, the last thing is now we, we combine it with the wrestling part. Because everything, they were, like, where's the wrestling, right? There should be more wrestling in here than I did, but okay, now the wrestling part comes. We can do this from all sorts of positions. Um, the main one I had in mind today is from the rear body lock. We can go to the rear body lock from a lot of places. Like, let's say we go to an under, we can go to a rear body lock, right? Or we go, let's say, like a duck under, we can go to the rear body lock. Right? Or we can go with a throw by, we can go to the rear body lock. There's many ways to get here. Uh, sometimes you also come up here from, let's say, from a guard. Maybe you do inside the Lehiva spin, right? You go to a crab right, you come up, you're in the rear body lock, right? Just some examples. There's a lot of ways to get there. And every time you're here, if you're very close to what we just did, especially when the person tries to turn in, which often they will do. Right? That's very context specific, but whichever side he turns in, I go for the inside spin. So that's in terms of this direction, come in here, go right away <laughs> to the inside spin. Okay. And it looks fancy on first try, right? If you see first, but now you know what I'm doing. I'm just dropping in this position, right? And just from here, whichever direction he turns, I can't go the other direction. So if I'm here and Rune turns this direction, I have to take this leg. If I try to take this leg and he turns, I have to <laughs> Like, nonsense, right? Also, if he runs away, let's say he runs away, I can't do it. I can't get between his legs, okay? Oh, I have to do other stuff. There's a lot of other cool things to do, right? If he runs away, I can trip him and stuff like this. Okay? But, like what we're doing today, so let's say, turning in is one of the most common reactions. They want to turn in. Right? Try to turn in, free the legs, yeah, turn back in. Let's face you, come back. So you find it's a lot to hear, right? With your long arm, your short arm, you pull the hips, keep your legs safe. Right? And every time he comes, I'm just sliding down, drop in the same position. And from here, you know what to do. This is as usual, right? It's the same position. <coughs> Wherever you want to go. Right? Same yeah. Yeah. You touch the other direction. From here. That? Same thing. You also, you don't have to care where your head is. For a long time, I played with this, and I thought it's important to go on the side where my head is. I can 
be with my head here and turn to the other direction. I can still go here. But it doesn't matter where my head is. You just have to be aware where his rotation gets it. It's always his rotation. That's it. You if you rotate this direction? Yeah. I have to take this left. Rotate the other direction? I have to take this left. It doesn't matter if I'm like this or like this. I will always take them this left. Fall down, again the same position, the same thing. Go for your finish. Okay. <coughs> that's the main thing we do now. There are many other cool entries. You can do it from the front too, right? You go from here, you know, get past the spot attack, go from here. Well, that's the one Ryan Hall made more famous. And there's so many others. You can combine it with Iminaris, right? You go, let's say you go from Iminari, you pull the way here, come back here, right? There's very, there's a huge uh, amount of possibilities. But you always drop to the same position, right? That's the thing. That's why uh, we spend so much time there. You always drop in here, no matter where you come from. Even if you do the knee on belly counter, right? It's like a knee on belly here. I bump him forward and look where I'm at. Same position. Right? So all these, all these entries. There are other entries too, like from Playguard. But you like in this, like, not so great. It's still a great entry, of course. But here, there's a different entry. I didn't go to the position, but look. I have to change the feet, which takes a lot of time, usually back steps, and then I still have a good, good entry here, but I don't have the heel right away. But with these type of inside spin entries, you have always the heel up right away. I have to run up spinning here, the heel is right there. My hand is already on the heel. I can go right away to the finish. Okay, okay so a lot of talking. We do this. You can, if you're a beginner, you don't have uh, much wrestling, just start here from the back, right? uh, around his hip. Nice uh, long arm, short arm. Pull his hip in, keep your legs close, no? keep your legs here. Legs nice and close, the nearest leg, drop down, and here, boom, boom, go to the finish. Okay, if you're like more advanced, do whatever you like to get to the rear button, right? If you want to, I don't know, make most, most come from color type, do like fly back, come here, move over. You can also do it if it's neutral, right? If it doesn't move at all, if it doesn't give you much reaction, like here. You always want to keep it a little bit moving, so it doesn't have much, but it's made just like neutral here, if I can still try to do it. That is clean. Ideally, you get some push in one direction. In here, you can push in one direction. Like this. We always, always find the same position. That's why we spend so much time there, right? Always the same position. If you get confused, just think how do you get into position? Be hybrid, but high on your shoulder here, and anger this direction, somewhere in here, right? Don't go here, it's really hard. Once you land here, you can't do it, you can't, but it's hard. Also, you could drop down with the knee. Like if he drops here, that's perfect, you can still do it. But if he drops next to me, that's a big problem. No, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. So that's why this angle is also dangerous. This angle allows him to drop his knee next to me. And from here, he drops on me, that's maybe it hurts a little bit. But I can still do my technique. I can still recover. That's what we do when we do knee on belly escape. Sorry, I'm talking so much, but if you do knee on belly. Yeah, knee on belly here, I bump him forward. Right in this position. So let's try the rear body lock. And the guy turns, or woman turn, whoever you are, turn, and then grab the near leg. Always the near leg that's turning towards you. Okay? One, two. Okay, I hope everyone learned something. Um, I try to keep it small and condensed to this one sequence. I gave you a little bit of extra for the advanced guys here and there, right? But mainly what this one sequence, and the core of the whole thing is getting into this position. Once you understand how to play or how to like be in this position to get to the to the um, back to 50, you can find it from everywhere, right? From standing, from top and bottom, you can find it from everywhere. See here, always nice and deep, and, and the angle, right? Those two things, once you have them, it's really, I played with it so much, right? I had this idea from the rebound lock to go there. And I did this for like a week, and that sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. I mean, why does it sometimes work? And then I played with the angle and everything, and I found it. I hope it's helpful. Like I said, Ryan Hall is the master of this thing. Um, it's inspired by him, so check out Ryan Hall. Um, yeah. um, Luck and Jice has obviously some good stuff on Backstab 50. If you want to discuss more about this, everything, Jiu Jitsu, or about this specifically, just find me. I'm usually over there in the drilling area, drilling a little bit. I'm injured right now, so I can't roll. Um, yeah. And I have a class on Friday on uh, Nogi Barambolos, which uh, fits nice together with leg locks. Uh, we're not combining them specifically, but I mentioned it here and there. 
And also, I took another class for back control um, from someone who got ill. So I also have a back control class in Quaid. If you like this, I would try to kind of make it similar. So we usually do a couple things, and I break it down into nice um, sections. Thanks for coming.